Today, we continue our series on self-esteem. It's our belief that if one can address this issue, then he or she can improve his or her life in a variety of ways. We're glad to see so many of you in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community have enjoyed this series. Today, we discuss another suggestion that has proven helpful for many people. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Welcome back to our series on self-esteem. Today, we want to build on the idea we discussed in our last video. We discussed using a notepad or other means to write things down so that you can write freely on a regular basis. When you see that your thoughts can be creative and you can naturally come up with good ideas at times, you start to feel better about that feeling of overwhelm because you know what to do with it. You also boost your self-esteem because you can feel a sense of accomplishment. Since you can do this exercise on your own terms, you can learn to be comfortable with yourself and your thoughts. This is key to being secure in terms of your self-esteem, 100% authentic. With the suggestion we're providing today, the difference is that we not only suggest that you document your thoughts, but that you talk back to those thoughts that are often interfering with your self-esteem. This allows you to refute errors in your thinking that lead to self-esteem problems. While you may be able to just recognize problematic thoughts that you've written down, we recommend that you use cognitive behavioral therapy to analyze the thoughts behind the thoughts to locate the cognitive distortions and then substitute healthier thoughts that can make us feel better. The process of CBT is straightforward and consists of the following. Locate the cognitive distortions that cause your anxiety, panic attacks, etc. Then replace these thoughts with healthier and accurate thoughts that make you feel better. We would encourage you to click the box at the end of this video and watch our video on CBT which presents in detail the process of CBT by providing a real-life example. CBT is a valuable tool that can be used on a regular basis to talk back to those thoughts that can often hamper one's self-esteem. We hope that you've enjoyed this fifth video on self-esteem and look forward to presenting a new video in the series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.